Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is Blumpy Thimble. We're going to be doing a brief channel update. Before we get started, though, I have kind of a, something that's a little bit different from the Be Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company, and they've sent us some little things to review and take a look at, and so we're going to do that. I'll show you how we can kind of tweak this into board game-related news, and then we're going to go into a channel update. So here we go. Uh, this was uh, this portion of the review was done at 7:59 in the morning because my son Bruce, who's in the video, and he's been in previous ones, it's been a while since he's been in one of the videos, uh, he woke up and the first thing he started talking about was doing this. So here we go. Can you say hi? Hi. These are surprisimals from the Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. And uh, yeah, if we don't get the, the Narwhal Hedgehog and or Yeti, I'm gonna be incredibly disappointed. So we're gonna open these up and I'll try to figure out which games we could use these in, uh, and if I can't think of any, Bruce is just going to get them, unless he's super adamant about it. Yeah, we're going to open the ball, don't worry. Yeah, I know. The first one, they're like little Pokemon. We got, oh, it looks like we've got yeah, Finley the Fox. So they're very soft, their eyes are pretty cool too. Finley's pretty cool. I'll get a close-up picture of these two. What do you think, Bruce? Hey. Look. So I know it's a bit superfluous, but we did just get the fox in the forest. So it was the first player marker. Oh, look who it is. It's Lulu Bear. It's a bear. It's a bear. I can't think of anything now. This is the game I'd use it first player token. If I can think of anything. Oh, let's see. Teddy! Thank you. Teddy! It's a teddy. It looks like this one is Bailey the Bulldog. Oh, this you know, this would be good for um, uh, dogs like if we get played too. So Bailey, they're all really, really soft. Kind of firm little guys and their eyes are really cool too. I'll, I'll post the picture. Put that in the video. I don't know if you can see. What's this? <gasps> we got the Yeti. We got the Yeti. I don't even know what game we're going to use him in yet, but we got the Yeti. So this is, what's his name? This one is Yeti Yeti. His name is Yeti, but it's spelled a little bit different. This is your world of stuffed animals. I'm more happy about this. Ooh, we got a penguin. Can you say penguin? Penny. Yeah, this is Penny Penguin. Purple little guy. Almost looks like an owl, so I might use him in Argent the Consortium. That's the first player marker. We'll see. He's kind of cool. He's pretty cute. I wish I had ice cool because if I did, then I could use this. Last one. Oh, and we got a duplicate fox. So Bruce is upset about that. Hey guys, brief channel update, and then we're going to take a look at uh, something a little bit different that we don't normally do on this channel. Um, first, I want to talk about subscriber growth. We've doubled our subscribers, more than doubled in the last few months, and that's I'm awesome. So thank you guys so much. I mean, uh, the more this channel grows, the more recognition we can get, the better games we can get into review. So thank you so much. Um, really, really appreciate it. If you're unaware, I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and WordPress, and we're pushing more and more content out uh, all the time on both on all of those networks. So if you'd like to follow us on Twitter, it's at Daniel B. Robison, D-A-N-I-E-L. B R O B I S O N. It's just my personal account, but I use it primarily for board games. Follow on Instagram at Plumpy Thimble, and we're posting board game stuff there all the time. If you'd like to check out our WordPress, which I'm trying to get more written reviews on there as well as I post the video reviews, feel free to check it out. PlumpyThimble.wordpress.com. I also want to uh, spend a little bit of time focusing on our featured channels that we have on the YouTube channel. These are channels that I personally really, really enjoy their content. And so I'd like to just take a moment to bring them to your attention. The first channel up there is To Die For Games with Mandy, Stefan, and Tracy. All three of them have been knocking it out of the park. And I've been following uh, To Die For Games since uh, just about since they started. We've started roughly around the same time, and they're contributors to the Dice Tower now, and they are just knocking it out of the park. Uh, our second featured channel is The Cardboard Stacker. Ferdinand over there is awesome. I found his channel when I was looking for Millennium Blades content and he has bar none the best Millennium Blades content out there as well as a number of other reviews 
and overviews and how to play videos. He also produces all his own music. It is really awesome. Check him out. He's running a contest right now, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, where he is giving away 44 games. A third channel that's on our featured side is the Dice Odyssey. Uh, Cause over there is just, he's got so much energy, he's genuine, and it's been a blast to watch his content come out and just uh, him and his friends, how they portray their excitement for this hobby. Highly recommend checking him out. He's got a pretty cool beard too, so that's a plus. Uh, last channel is the Sugar High Score with Stephanie and Shelby. They have, uh, they've got a really good Twitter account that gets a lot of views, a lot of followers because they produce some really cool baked goods based on board games. I found out that they also have a YouTube channel, which is why they're on the featured side because they have instructions for a lot of their really cool cakes they do. They did Monopoly Gamer, they did Happy Salmon, and a number of other things that are just, I mean, they make it look so simple, uh, but I'm sure it's much, much more difficult. And I love to do something like that for Gen Cant, so we'll see what we can come up with. Speaking of Gen Cant, um, what Plumpy Thimble's gonna be doing, I'm gonna be hosting a community board game event at our local library. How big that's gonna be, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be posting on Twitter and Instagram Pretty much the entire time so you can see some content there uh the big news is that we're going to be featuring two games that are releases at gen cant or just sorry releases at gen con we're going to be featuring them uh and idw games has um it's on the way they're sending us two games that are going to be released it is the reprint of taurus the spiel de yaris winner as well as their game outpost siberia so i'm really excited to post pictures and videos and all kinds of content featuring these games that you're going to be able to get after the convention. So that's what's going on with Plumpy Thimble. Thanks for watching. Our Argent review is probably going to be out pretty quickly. Um, we've got Argent coming up, and then right after that, the Chameleon, we're going to be doing reviews for both of them. I actually really like both of those games, spoiler alert. Uh, so thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.